Jets Tyler Conklin catches all six targets Monday. Conklin bounced back nicely after going without a catch in the previous game. In addition to setting a season high in catches and coming one yard short of his season best, Conklin drew a 14-yard pass interference penalty on third down to extend a third-quarter drive. The tight end was tackled on the two-yard line on the Jets' final offensive play, narrowly missing his first touchdown of 2023. Heading into a Week 10 road game against the Raiders, Conklin has notched at least three catches in all but two games this season. Jets' Tyler Conklin blanked in Week 8 win. Conklin didn't catch either of his two targets in Sunday's 13-10 overtime win over the Giants. Conklin had at least three catches in each of the previous five games but he didn't account for any of Zach Wilson's 17 completions in the overtime victory. His two targets matched the combined total of C.J., Uzuma and Jeremy Ruckert, so Conklin remains the top pass-catching option among the Jets' tight ends heading into a Week 9 home game against the Chargers on MNF. Jets' Tyler Conklin, three catches in Week 6. Conklin caught three of four targets for 24 yards in Sunday's 2014 win over the Eagles. Conklin wasn't a major part of the game plan as Zach Wilson threw for just 186 yards, but New York won the turnover battle 4-0 to pull off the upset win. Heading into the Jets' Week 7 bye, Conklin has caught at least three passes in all but one game, but he's still looking his first touchdown of the season. Jets' Tyler Conklin, leading receiver in win. Conklin had four receptions on five targets for 67 yards in Sunday's 31-21 win over the Broncos. Conklin finished first in receiving yardage for the Jets in a game where neither team reached 200 passing yards. The veteran tight end has quietly contributed 50 or more yards in three of his last four contests. Conklin has yet to hit pay dirt this season, something he will attempt to correct against the Eagles next Sunday. Jets' Tyler Conklin goes for 58 yards in loss. Conklin caught four of his six targets for 58 yards in Sunday's 23-20 loss to Kansas City. The veteran tight ends Six targets finished behind only top wideout Garrett Wilson's 14 on Sunday, and his night would have been even bigger, as C.J. Uzuma not vultured a one-yard TD in the second quarter. Conklin has alternated modest and poor, receiving totals through four games, resulting in him being a low-end option for fantasy purposes. He also has yet to be targeted in the red zone, a trend that hurts his potential heading into next Sunday's matchup against Denver. Jets' Tyler Conklin ties for second with five targets. Conklin caught three of five targets for 26 yards in Sunday's 15-10 loss to the Patriots. Conklin tied Alan Lazard for second behind Garrett Wilson in both catches and targets, but New York's offense struggled once again as Zach Wilson threw for just 157 yards. After being limited to one catch for two yards in the season opener, Conklin has eight catches for 76 yards in two subsequent games, and he should remain the Jets' top pass catching tight end in Week 4 against the Chiefs. Jets' Tyler Conklin, 5 grabs in Sunday's loss. Conklin caught 5 of 6 targets for 50 yards in Sunday's 30-10 loss to the Cowboys. Aside from a 68-yard TD grab by Garrett Wilson, undisclosed, Conklin was the only Jets receiving option to make any kind of impact, as the veteran tight end gave QB Zach Wilson a reliable safety valve in the face of a relentless Dallas pass rush. Conklin doesn't have much of a fantasy ceiling, but his developing chemistry with his young quarterback could give him a solid floor in Week 3 against the Patriots.